Hey, Shockers. Welcome back to Shocker Strong Resilience. We are at week 10, so we are nearing the end of this personal development course. Our topic this week is committing to your goals, which obviously, if you are in college and in a degree program, you have an ultimate goal at the end, right, which is to graduate with a degree. But along the way, you got a lot of other goals to focus on and achieve to get to that big one at the end. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Committing to your goals is really establishing a personal commitment to achieve what you set out to achieve and being dedicated to it. And so there are some tools to use that can help you do this and to stay focused. So the first thing that um, we like to talk about with goals is make sure your goals when you write them out, which is hugely helpful instead of trying to keep them all in your head, um, seeing them visualized, um, written out, posted somewhere uh, where you can see them regularly is one of the best tools for keeping you on track and reaching those goals. So smart goals are what we like to talk about and framing your goals as smart goals and writing them out that way. So smart goals are goals that have five components to them, which means they are specific, they are measurable, they are achievable, they are relevant, and they are timely. You want your goals to be specific. We do not want broad, general, vague goals. So we are going to you know, really get nitty gritty. I'm going to graduate in 2024 with my degree in communications by attending my required courses for the degree and all my gen ed classes with a high enough GPA, right? It's a very specific and those are all the components of it. And each of those components is important. That's why I put them all out. The next part is measurable. You have to be able to measure your goals to, you know, know if you're really on track or achieving them or not, right? So you want to make your goals measurable. So I am going to make sure I'm going to measure my success in this goal by your GPA, by your uh, completion, right? Maybe a checklist of those courses that you need and getting them done. Right. And then making sure you're on track with all of those as time goes by so that you can keep to that 24, uh, 2024 graduation date achievable. This is huge. If you ever heard phrases like uh, someone's in over their head or bit off more than they can chew, they have set a goal that is not realistic, not achievable. Having goals that are ambitious is awesome. We definitely want ambitious goals. We do want, not want goals, however, that are so ambitious that you're going to burn out before you get there. So keeping your goals achievable. If you want to graduate by, let's say, next spring, but you have 60 credit hours left, even after you finish this semester, that's not an achievable goal. You're looking at 20 hours a semester for three semesters. That's going to burn you out. Can it be done? Yes. Is it going to be incredibly um, difficult and probably unhealthy? Most likely. And I speak to someone who has done a 20 hour semester before just once, and it's not a good time. And if you burn out, you're not going to make your goal. And then you're going to have to kind of start, you know, your path all over again with new goals. So we really want to make sure those goals are achievable. You also want to make sure those goals are relevant to you. And that's important for the reason that when we have other people set goals for us, we're a lot less likely to want to complete those goals or to work as hard towards them because they're not ours. We don't have ownership of those goals. We're doing it, um, you know, to check a box or for some you know, somebody else or whatever the case, but they have to be relevant to you so that you are motivated and you have that desire to achieve those goals. And the last thing is timely, which is, 
you know, you have that end goal of graduating by 2024, like we stated in the beginning for the specific part. And so that's your end goal, right? That's the end of your timeline. And now is the beginning of your timeline. But on that timeline in between, you need little markers to help you along the way, right? Because it's a ways in the future. You have things you have to do along the way to get there, like we specified in the beginning. And so being timely and having a timeline for those things and, you know, little benchmarks or deadlines for those things to keep yourself on track are huge because I don't know about you guys, but I know me personally, if I don't set those small benchmarks, everything gets lost in the shuffle and some things get forgotten or fall through the cracks. And then my goal is not achieved. It's not complete, right? Because I got to go back and find the thing because I didn't use those benchmarks to keep me on track. So doing that really helps hold yourself accountable. And that's one of the biggest things about SMART goals. If you're gonna commit to a goal, then you have to hold yourself accountable for all these steps throughout achieving that goal. We will see you next week for module 11. And it will be Ms. Ashlyn talking about physical activity and exercise and why that is so important to resilience. And we want to thank you for watching and wish you a happy week. Thanks. Bye.